has a hypothesis. What do you use your feathers for? I have a hypothesis. I have a hypothesis. I have a new hypothesis to test out. Tiny, I have a hypothesis. You mean an idea you can test? I have a hypothesis. I think you guys are faster because your legs are longer. So I have a hypothesis. But how can we test that? It was an interesting hypothesis. Buddy really likes the word hypothesis. It means an idea you can test. Hey, Buddy, what do you think Cory's doing making those noises? I have a hypothesis. I think Cory's using her crest to communicate. You mean it's Cory's special way of talking? Ding! You're right. Corythosaurus communicate by hooting. Like my mom just hooted to tell me that it's almost time for the concert. I have a hypothesis. I think you guys are faster because your legs are longer. And maybe your long feet. These long guys? Good hypothesis. Oh! But, Buddy, how could you test that hypothesis? Hmm. I know, another race. Did somebody say race? <laughs> Who wants to race? Not me. Just talking about another race makes me tired. Okay, how about you, Buddy? Tiny? What if we did it as a team, Buddy? A team? We're in all your partners, so I should get a partner, too. Buddy! Partners, we could do a relay race. Ooh, yeah, a relay race. A re-what race? A relay race. The first partner runs half the race, then touches the other partner, and he runs the second half. Oh, so Buddy runs, touches my wing, and then I race the rest of the way. Do you guys mind if I fly? <laughs> Not, Not at, at all. all! Fly all you want! Okay, let's do it. We'll race to the, uh, that big rock down there. Ollie, you and Tiny wait halfway down where that crooked tree is. Okay, come on, buddy. I know we can win if we do it together. Go Team Pteranodon! We need a handshake like that. Well, let's do this. Go Team Ornithomimus! <laughs> it's good, just not as catchy. Okay, we're ready. Don, you do the countdown. Relay racers, ready, set, go! me with your long legs and feet, you were winning. But then Tiny flew with her amazing wings, and I think that's how we won. Okay, so as long as it's a running race, we ornithomimus would win. Right. Good hypothesis. Her breath smells awful. I know. I have a hypothesis about why it smells so bad. You mean an idea you can test? Yep. My hypothesis is maybe her breath smells bad because of what Tyrannosaurus eat. Did my breast smell bad before I ate the carrion? Uh, no. <sighs> but now that I've eaten the carrion, how does my breast smell? <sighs> well, I mean, um, okay. It smells just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. What do you use your feathers for? I have a hypothesis. Valerie uses her feathers for different things than flying. Are your feathers warm? Yeah, they help keep me warm when it gets cold. It gets cold here in the desert? When the sun goes down, it can get chilly. Oh, and see, we also put feathers around our nest to keep our eggs nice and warm. Ooh, that looks so cozy. We should do this for our nest at home. So it turns out that your feathers are good for keeping you warm. Yep, your hypothesis was right, buddy. I have a hypothesis about what your fill is for. You mean an idea you can test? Yep. My hypothesis is you have a frill so other dinosaurs can see you better. Well, we tested that hypothesis. We can all see him really well. We know Tank's frill doesn't help him fly, but what is it for? I'm not exactly sure. I just know that I've had it all my life, like all Triceratops. Hey, maybe that's it. Frills are here to tell everyone I'm a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that frill! 
It's big! Th th that's scary! Um, um, uh, just, uh... <laughs> wow, what a thrill. Yeah, Tank used his frill to make Keenan go away. You know what I think? Maybe it's for different things. To help other Triceratops know he's a Triceratops, and to look bigger, and make not nice dinosaurs leave him alone. Yeah, maybe it is. I have a hypothesis about Arnie. Being that big means Arnie always needs to eat a lot so he can move his body. You know, I think you're right. When I don't eat, I could hardly move at all. I've been wondering why your species has such huge, sharp claws, and I have a hypothesis. He needs an idea you can test. Oh, what's your idea, buddy? My hypothesis is your claw is the tool that you use to jab or stab things when you're hunting. Yeah, that's right. I have a hypothesis. Since we know that other insects really like flowers and plants, I'm guessing that dragonflies also like to hang out on flowers and plants. Well, team, here's what I know about dragonflies. They actually hatch their eggs in the water. Whoa! Howard was born in the water? Yep. But how could a dragonfly start out as a baby in the water? They have wings. They can't fly underwater. Or do dragonflies look different when they're born? Hmm. Well, that's something I don't know about dragonflies, buddy. We'll ask the conductor about that one. Buddy, I think your hypothesis about dragonflies being born on plants was wrong. Yeah, way wrong. Look, kids! What do you notice about the trees here? Hmm, the leaves are mostly gone. Do you think somebody ate them? I have a hypothesis. Whatever dinosaurs live here ate the leaves. And since they were still hungry, they went north to find more trees. Great hypothesis, Buddy. Whoa, Buddy, do you think that's why the T-Rexes went north too? Hmm, maybe. So, Buddy, do you have a hypothesis for us today? Not yet. Oh, wait, here's one. My hypothesis is I love the theropod club. <laughs> and I have a new hypothesis. I think all dinosaur babies hatch from eggs. Mr. Conductor, can you think of a dinosaur that doesn't hatch from an egg? Nope. All dinosaurs do hatch from eggs. I bet other creatures that aren't dinosaurs come from eggs, too. Like insects and birds. Very good hypotheses, Tiny and Buddy. Uh, Hadrosaur is the name for all dinosaurs with duck bills. And they walk on two legs. Do they all make music like Cory? I have a hypothesis. If other hadrosaurs have longer or shorter crests than Corythosaurus, they might make different sounds. Hmm. Interesting hypothesis, buddy. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Dinosaur, once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh, boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.